second quarter minted in 1997 be worth more than its face value? Believe it or not, sometimes these pocket change finds fetch unsinkable amounts at various coin auctions. Take for instance these uncirculated quarter dollars that fetched $450 with buyer's fee on June 23rd, 2024 at Great Collections Auction. This super gem was graded mint state 68 by NGC. What makes this coin notable is its pristine condition, featuring sharp details and virtually no imperfections, making it one of the finest known examples. Although 1997p quarter is part of regular circulation series, it achieves high value due to its exceptional state of preservation. Collectors prize such coins for their rarity in high grades, as they are typically difficult to find without any wear or damage. This sale highlights the growing market for top-grade modern coins among numismatists. So next time you come across a 1997 quarter, take a closer look, you might be holding a small fortune in your hands. Proofs of the new Jefferson Nichols were released in late 1938 and the collectors ordered a significant number. The treasury sold proofs both in sets and as singles. All 1938 proofs feature the reverse of 1938 hub with indistinct steps, some showing minor touch-ups to the dies. While gems are plentiful, very high grades are rare due to the mint's proof coining techniques. Coins with cameo contrast on both sides are exceedingly rare, though a few one-sided cameo coins exist. Sculptor Felix Schlack bought 150 examples, placing them in signed and notarized commemorative cards. He sold few in 1939, and the remainder was wholesaled in early 1960s. Once common, they are now rare and more respected. This proof nickel was graded as PR68 by NGC, and it ended up selling for $900 on June 25, 2024. If you have 1950 Washington Quarter from Denver in your possession, make sure to check the D mint mark on the back of the coin. It could be worth a lot of money. Specifically, you should look for a rare error variety known as D over S mint mark. Specialists in Washington Quarter varieties have long noted a strange occurrence with the branch mint issues of the 1950. When one branch mint ordered a set of dies, the die cutter at the Philadelphia Mint sometimes took an already prepared branch mint die and simply punched in the requested mint mark. This process sometimes resulted in fascinating D over S and S over D varieties. One such error quarter dollar graded MS66 plus by PCGS and later verified by CAC sold for astounding $10,800 at Stax Bowers auction. This remarkable sale underscores the significant value that these rare varieties can hold. So don't forget to check your 1950 Denver quarters. You might be in possession of hidden treasure. Look at a marvelous toning on this Roosevelt dime, presenting you 1953S Roosevelt dime in mint state 67 plus with full bands. 1953S dimes were widely hoarded at the time of issue. This didn't reflect a low mintage or any other desirable feature beyond the natural inclination of collectors to cherish S mint coins. Gems are plentiful, but most of these are rather poorly struck. This super gem with full bands definition and beautiful toning ended up selling for $559.12 at Great Collections Auction. Here is another rare or mint mark variety. Behold the valuable and rare 1944 D Lincoln with D mint mark punched over S mint mark. This variety features a distinct over mint mark where the D Denver mint mark was stamped over an S San Francisco mint mark. In MS64 red condition, this coin exhibits a bright original red luster with minimal surface imperfections, making it highly desirable among collectors. The 1944D over S mint mark is one of the more intriguing and valuable error coins in the Lincoln Sand series, highlighting the minting anomalies of the era. Collectors often seek out such coins for their historical significance and rarity. This specimen graded in mint state 64 red by ANX was sold for $149 on June 25th, 2024. This is 1999p Anthony Dollar struck on Sacagawea Dollar Planchet, graded in mint state 64 by NGC. A fascinating transitional off metal error occurred when a planchet intended for new Sacagawea Dollar 
first issued in 2000, was struck by the 1999 dated Susan B. Anthony Dollar Dies, ranked number 43 in 100 Greatest U.S. Error Coins by Nicholas P. Brown, David J. Camier, and Fred Weinberg. This reverse transitional error differs from the true transitional errors like as it was struck on planchette intended for future dollar coin. This specimen was sold for $9,400. Here is undated Kennedy of dollar struck on a nickel planchette graded in mint state 65 by NGC. The undated Kennedy of dollar struck on 5 cent blank and graded MS 65 by NGC is an extraordinary mint error. Weighing 5 grams, this coin was mistakenly struck on a nickel planchet instead of standard half dollar planchet. The result is a unique and highly collectible piece that combines the design elements of the Kennedy of dollar with the size and weight of nickel. Graded MS65, the coin boasts a high level of detail and minimal imperfections, enhancing its appeal to collectors. Such mint errors are rare and highly valued for their uniqueness and glimpse they offer into the minting process. This one was sold for staggering $2,100 on June 17, 2024 at Heritage Auctions. Thank you for joining me on this journey through some of the rarest and most fascinating US coins. I hope you enjoyed learning about these unique pieces of numismatic history. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow coin enthusiasts. And leave a comment below with your thoughts or any questions you might have. Don't forget to subscribe to CoinOuts for more exciting coin discoveries and updates. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Happy collecting and see you in the next video.